So next number system which we are going to discuss about is the binary number system. So again it is also a number system. So it will also consist of a set of unique symbols. But here only two unique symbols are present. Only two symbols are available and using those two symbols only we have to uh, make numbers. We have to frame numbers and those two unique symbols are 0 and 1. Okay? So, it is a combination or pattern of zeros and ones which are used to form numbers in the binary number system. So, the base or radix of the system, the binary number system is 2 as only two unique symbols are present. Now, it is also a positional number system and each position has a certain weight associated with it. Okay? So, it is similar to the decimal number system. It is a positional number system. Each position has a certain weight, but the difference is that here only two unique symbols are present. There, 10 symbols were used. The base or radix of the system here is 2. The base and radix or the radix of the decimal number system is 10. Okay, so here only two symbols are used and each symbol and each position has a certain weight associated with it. So it is a positional number system. So let us just see by taking a few examples how the binary number system works. Okay, so let us see that. So a binary number system is actually a combination of ones and zeros as only two symbols are used. So let us just uh, take a binary number, let us say 1, 0, 1, 0. So we have to mention it in proper form, bracket and write the base or the radix. Only then it will mean that it is the binary number system. Okay. Always mention the base or radix of the system. Okay. Now, a binary number system here, each symbol of the binary number system is called as a bit. Each symbol. This 0, this 1, again this 0, they are all bits. Okay. So, it is a group of bits, these zeros and 1, they are called as bits, which is actually binary plus digits. When we combine it, it forms bits, B and this forms bits. Okay. So, it is actually a group of bits. Now, suppose we write 4 bits, okay, 1, 0, 1, 1, let us say. Now, we are not mentioning it as a binary number, just for the sake of understanding, I told you that. Suppose we are using 4 bits. Now, this group of 4 bits is called as a nibble, it is called as nibble. Suppose we uh, wrote it like uh, let us say 0, 1, 0, 1 and let us say 1, 0, 1, 0. So, this 4 bits and this 4 bits, we have a total of 8 bits. Now, this 8 bits, this group of 8 bits is called as a byte. This is called as a byte, this group of 8 bits, a total of 8 binary digits are present. Suppose we used uh, like 1, 0, 1, 1 
zero one one zero again let's say one one zero zero one zero zero one just a random sixteen bit binary number so this is four bits this is four bits this is four bits this is four bits a total of sixteen bits now this group of sixteen bits is called as a word okay so these are some of the basic concepts associated with binary number system group of 4 bits is called as a nibble group of 8 bits is called as a byte group of 16 bits is called as a word so always remember these terms suppose uh, in, in anywhere it is mentioned byte so you on it should strike your mind it's a group of 8 bits suppose it is given a word so you have to remember that it's 16 bits so what is given given a nibble it means it is 4 bits so you should remember this terms when it comes to binary number system or digital electronics because it it will be used you can find these terms okay so next we'll uh, discuss about the weight and uh, how the base or radix is used in uh, the binary number system okay now let us write a number as 1 uh, let's say 1 0 1 0 again we take this number now okay let us also put a decimal value and uh, we also write a 0 1 1 0 okay this is a binary number we are not putting the bracket here right now this is the decimal point sorry not the decimal point but the point okay it is not decimal point we are used to saying that the point which separates the real part and the fractional part now this part this position to the left of the point it has a weight of 2 to the power 0 it has a weight of 2 to the power 0 see Here the base radix comes into play. Okay. In decimal number system, it was ten to the power zero because the base was ten in decimal number system. Here in binary number system, the base is two. That's why two to the power zero. Okay. So always try to correlate things. Now this position, it has a weight of 2 to the power 1 this position it has a weight of 2 to the power 2 this position it has a weight of 2 to the power 3 similarly this position it will be 2 to the power minus 1 this position it will be 2 to the power minus 2 similarly this position it have a power 2 to the power minus 3 this position have a power sorry a weight of 2 to the power minus 4 and so on it will go on okay so this is the concept of base radix and weight of a binary number system okay binary number system the concept of radix and base and the weight they are combinedly used here the weight is the the value which is associated with each position and the base or radix is that to the power of which it it continues up to a particular position to assign a weight value okay so the base or radix is used to assign a weight value and the weight value depends on the position the 0 1 2 it is the position and this 2 is the base or radix okay so this is how the weight base radix they are related together so it is similar to the decimal number system in decimal number system we use 10 to the power 0 10 to the power 1 10 to the power 2 10 to the power 3 because the base was 10 
here the base is 2 that is why same thing 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3. So, only thing which changed here is 2, rest all are same, the position are the same 0, 1, 2, 3 which are to the left of the, uh, the point and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 to the right side of this point. Okay? So, suppose we have to represent a particular uh, decimal number, let us say, okay? a particular decimal number. A particular decimal number, let us say 1, 0, 1, 0, again let us say we take that number. So, this is in binary. Suppose we have to represent it in decimal. What is the, what is the decimal value of this number? So, what we will do is that we will simply use the base and the weight concept. This is the 0th place, this is the 1, the 2nd and the 3rd. So, it will be 1 into 2 to the power 3 because 0, 1, 2, 3 at the third place it is 1. Uh, sorry, it is uh, not multiplication, it is plus. Plus, here it is 0, 0 into 2 to the power 2. Again, we have 1 in the second place which is 1 into 2 to the power 1, okay, the 1 place, and then again we have at last in the 0th place we have 0. 0 into 2 to the power 0. So, it is 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0, which is 10. So, it is decimal value 10. In decimal number system or base 10 system, this string of or the combination of bits is 10. We have converted it into decimal number system. So, we can say that decimal number 10 in binary form can be written as 1, 0, 1, 0. We can say this. So, we have simply converted a binary number into a decimal number. Okay? So, this is how the base, radix and weight system it works. Now, it would be helpful to you if you uh, just remember certain things okay, uh, associated with uh, these uh, binary number system, certain values. So, this uh, certain things we should remember is that 2 to the power minus 1, okay, it is 1 by 2, which is equal to 0 0.5, 2 to the power minus 2, it is 1 by 4, which is equal to 0. 2, 5, 2 to the power minus 3 is equal to 1 by 8. These values you should remember. Okay? These values you should remember. This is 0 0.125 and so on. You should remember these things. It would be easy for you to calculate. Similarly, 2 to the power 1, it is 2. 2 to the power 2, it is let us say 4. Next, 2 to the power 3, it is 8. 2 to the power 4, it is 16, 2 to the power 5, it is 32. These things will be easier for you to calculate. 2 to the power 6 is 64 and so on. You should remember these things. Okay? So, always use these concepts and uh, wherever when we will perform interconversion between various number systems, these concepts will be handy for you. Okay? So, here we have discussed about the decimal and the binary number system. Next, we will discuss about the octal and the hexadecimal number system in a separate video. Okay? So, I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.